Welcome to Where We Learn, and in this video we're looking at bringing science fiction into science fact. This video will briefly explore three areas of how we help move from science fiction into science fact. First up, let's have a quick look at optimism. In 1964, Star Trek, the brainchild of Gene Roddenberry, first appeared on television. The positivity of which spilled over into popular culture and not just niche audiences. This cultural influence affects society and how we interact. Milwaukee, Wisconsin is the home of the private Marquette University. On staff is Dr. Jerry Canavan, who has authored a number of pieces, including on the topic and cultural effect of Star Trek. On the 8th of September 2016, BFI, a cultural charity based out of the UK, published an opinion piece. Dr. Canavan expressed his opinion on then 50-year-old Star Trek with a confirmative quote that the idea of Star Trek is that the future might be good instead of bad. BBC culture writer Cameron Lowe in 2020 followed up with another piece on the cultural impact of Star Trek, reflecting that the show portrays a positive vision of the future rather than a dystopian one. The overlap with where we learn's vision, mission and values to create a positive version of the future is not lost on us. Okay, so how can we bring this positive future into the present in an impactful and meaningful way? Science fiction predominantly bases itself on science and a large part of that is technology. One of the Star Trek ships is called the Defiant. Here is a plastic model cast of it. Within the ship there are computer screens linked to a central computer called LCARS or Library Computer Access Retrieval System. Here is a great image from Alexander Richardson, a professional designer who did an example layout showing the inner workings of the Defiant. Whilst these are all works of fiction, there is a distinct style to them. Now to science fact. The World Wide Web started in 1991 in CERN. Since then, millions of websites with millions of pieces of information have materialized from many human minds. Where We Learn has a number of tools freely available to educators and students. The web has many educational items, blog articles, videos, sound files, anything that lives on the net. Where We Learn is a charity that provides free educational tools and enables educators to sequence up publicly available materials. Where We Learn uses different technologies to make this happen. A material uses an iframe, like an electronic window to another website, to show or provide a link to that other website's information. A lesson sequences up these materials into a structured, ordered lesson. Using the concept of watch this, read this, play this, then go here, as a teacher might guide a student in class. We take a bit more time explaining these concepts in other videos. Added to this suite of tools are key rings, which are collections of URLs. In the same way you can have a ton of keys, by keeping them in a key ring, you save a lot of hassle. It's also possible to make very cool custom key rings. In recognition of the optimism of Star Trek, we've used the style of an L cars to allow you study as if you were on a starship. Would you like to learn real physics from an L cars interface or how about study dinosaurs? Maybe even learn to draw. Could you suggest a lesson, sequence up some internet resources and help change the future? Well, here's how. Let's build a lesson. We identify three materials we want to use in our lesson. Here are just three example videos from YouTube. We log in to where we learn and we create our lesson from our dashboard. We create our lesson, give our lesson a name, copy in the URLs of the three videos, sequence them up, and hit presto, that's our lesson built. We tweak the settings to change the theme to L cars. It's as easy as that to build lessons and materials. The subject can be on anything, be inspired, where do your interests go? 
What if you have a collection of useful links? Let's have a go at one of those key rings. We choose key ring create, we give it a title, and we also have a selection of URLs that we're going to add to our key ring. By simply clicking the button, pasting in the URL, we repeat the process to add all of the different links we want in our key ring. With all the links added, we tweak the settings. First up, we change the layout to LCARS, and then we set the key ring to be public so that the whole world can benefit from your work. What does that look like? There's your LCARS styled key ring with links to all of the different websites that you want to share. Using an image map, we can create advanced layouts and make them touch capable. This example, using the image from Alexander Richardson again, has portions of the image that are clickable. We have another video which describes how to do this process in detail. Whilst no TV series or science fiction is ever perfect, it is just a story after all, but it can be very inspiring. Where We Learn hopes to reuse technologies we have today to help change science fiction into science fact. If we happen to have a bit of fun whilst changing the world, why shouldn't we embrace that optimism? There are loads more videos to explore and tools for us to use, so please explore and enjoy learning with Where We Learn.